Tea is an intricate part of our daily lives, as a morning ritual, among the company of loved ones, or simply as a quick work break. As India's most popular drink, tea was originally introduced by the British through the East India Company in the 19th century. But it was only until 1977 that tea cultivation started in the state of Meghalaya. Early of 19th century, when the Britishers came to, to this uh, beautiful place of uh, state of Meghalaya, so they have brought with them some uh, samples of tea where they want to uh, plant in, uh, in, in various locations of the state. So in their trials, they found that the climate, the soil, the topography, it suits the kind of teas that we can have in the state of Meghalaya. Way back in 1974, 75, uh, the Tea Board of India sent some uh, officials to study again about, uh, you know, the potential and uh, uh, maybe the, the adaptability, you can say, uh, whether tea is used or not here in Meghalaya, and they found that it is it's perfect. So the perfect conditions laid them that they should start a commercial cultivation in tea in Meghalaya. Growing at elevations of over 1,500 meters above sea level, tea cultivated in Meghalaya is considered as the best orthodox tea in India. Recognizing the potential of tea cultivation, the Agriculture Department started its own tea farms in Umsning and Upper Shillong. From these tea farms was born what we know as Meg Tea, Taste of the Hills. The variant of Meg Tea produced and marketed from the micro mini factory at Upper Shillong has become very popular, mainly because of its unique taste and quality. The tea leaves plucked from the tea plants in the tea farm undergo two different processing methods to manufacture orthodox green tea and black tea, rich in antioxidants, nutrients and anti-inflammatory properties. Green tea has become the favorite choice for healthy living. The more popular and common variant of tea, black tea, is the perfect pick-me-up and energizer to get us started in the morning. Using organic compost and natural pest control methods, Meg tea is organic certified. We have already tied a, a sign on MOU with the, one of the most famous uh, certification body uh, from Mumbai. It's known as Control Union Certifications. And this company is from, from Netherlands and they have their branch office in Mumbai. Like all good things, Meg tea is the product of its environment. And its uniqueness arises from how it's grown and processed. But even before the tea leaves are packaged, every batch of processed tea undergoes a tea tasting process to ensure the best quality and product. We do the tasting. Almost every, every batch of teas that we make, say once in a week, we taste it and we analyze it and then we keep it. Something when it goes wrong, then something says, okay, this tea should not go to the market. Maybe we have to put it in some other way we can put it. Meg tea lives by the ideology of low volume, high quality. Because of its superior quality, rich and fragrant aroma and powerful liquor, Meg tea is gaining popularity in India and across the world. We thought only the conventional method may not work because we cannot compete uh, our uh, tea with other brands from Assam or Darjeeling. But the only way we can do well in the market is that you know you go for the, the concept of low volume, high quality. So this small concept that we have here, that you know you can have about two hectares or three hectares, I think this will suit our purpose and maybe in, in the long run, maybe in 10, 20 years, uh, this will be another, it'll be a game changer for the small. Uh, tea farmers of, of the state. Immerse into nature with Meg Tea. Taste of the hills.